folks, today I've got a shot of the Dulux Reverb Tone Master Blonde Edition. This is a new, uh, a new amplifier that's been brought out by Fender and it replicates the tube amps of the 1960s. Uh, and this one has got a Celestian speaker installed. I think the normal Tone Masters have got a Jensen speaker. The advantage of this is it gives you more rock and roll uh, vibes apparently. So I just had a little bit of a play around with it there, just doing a little bit of Link Ray to give you a bit of rock and roll fever. Um, so I'm gonna, I've got some preamps on here, I'm going to switch them off now and let you hear what the amplifier sounds like dry. That sounds pretty good folks, uh, that is a lovely rock and roll tone. That is on the vibrato channel, uh, I haven't got any reverb on here, let's put some reverb on. effects or anything, this is the amplifier on its own. Let's try the normal channel. Excuse me a second while I switch this over. So it doesn't have any reverb or uh, vibrato. All you've got on the normal channel is volume, treble and bass, so it's quite basic. and uh, to me it does sound very much like a tube amplifier I hope you're getting that on the YouTube uh, clips here let me just try it with a little bit of thumb picking let's see how we get on now if I make mistakes please tell me in the comments <laughs> Especially, it was included uh, just to make sure there was something to write in the comments. So please write the comments below and point that out to me. So now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to try a little bit of uh, echo on here. Let's see what that sounds like. That sounds pretty 50s to me. That's proper rock and roll, that is. is absolutely fantastic. I hope you're getting the effect there at home folks. Um, do I have any criticisms of this amplifier? Well I would say I have one or two. Um, I think one of the things that's slightly annoying is the fact that this side 
actually to me sounds tonally a little bit better than the right hand side and uh, you only get the, uh, the, the, the reverb and the vibrato on the right hand side so that's a slight frustration I guess um, in terms of the foot pedal now to me when I'm playing live because I'm not very good I like to use a foot pedal to give myself a little boost when I'm doing a solo and the foot pedal has got reverb and it's got uh, vibrato options to switch on and off now I don't know about you but I've never really felt the need to switch reverb and vibrato on and off in the middle of a solo or in the middle of a song in fact maybe a vibrato occasionally but I do quite like to have a boost switch so I think they've kind of missed a trick there I think a boost on the uh, pedal would have been a good idea and something that would have been very very useful it's probably unlikely that I'll ever take that pedal out now because uh, I, d I don't think I would really use it and the less things you've got at your feet when you're playing live the better in my opinion um, I think in terms of the weight of this amplifier it's, it's pretty good I mean I think I saw a video from some guy saying that he thought the box was empty when it arrived well I'm sorry but I don't believe you it does have a little bit of weight to it but nothing like uh, the reverb amp that you would normally pick up and indeed I was round at my friend uh, Scott's house uh, and he has got a Fender Blues Junior and he thought that was pretty light but this is considerably lighter than a Blues Junior so uh, as you know if you're playing live you invariably find it very difficult to get parked anywhere near the venue because everyone's got there to get a table or whatever and uh, you're left there lugging your stuff for miles quite often so having a light amplifier is certainly a good thing Another great thing that I like about this amplifier is it actually comes uh, with a cover. So again, if you're, if you're moving your stuff uh, into a gig, having a cover is a great thing because uh, certainly in Scotland where we are, uh, it rains quite a lot uh, and uh, your amp gets a bit wet if you don't have a cover on it. But other than that, I would say a uh, pretty good amplifier. Uh, it's not the cheapest thing on the market. I think it's about £850. Uh, which is probably slightly more expensive than the Blues Junior, not the Blues Junior, sorry, the Blues Cube, Roland Blues Cube, which I would say this is uh, directly competing with, but it is a lot lighter than the Blues Cube, uh, I know that because I've got a Blues Cube, um, and tonally I think it's uh, possibly slightly better, not much in it, and certainly if you're playing live I don't think you would notice that, both of them give you that lovely rock and roll tone, uh, the colour is fantastic, uh, can't complain about that and I think the styling of this amplifier is rather beautiful and really interesting and when you're playing it's what it looks like often as much as what it sounds like that's important so um, 10 out of 10 but I, of course this is, uh, this is uh, classic styling that's been replicated. Uh, one slight issue that I've got uh, because I'm slightly OCD is the uh, Tone Master uh, badge here is on squint. Now I don't know if that's intentional or not, but that drives me a bit nuts. Uh, I might have to actually um, pull that off one day in a fit of peak if I'm not careful. I just have to ignore it and try and pretend it's not there because that bugs me intensely. But anyway, uh, I suspect that was just a, just a glitch on this particular model. But lovely amp and I hope you enjoy the video folks. Give me a like and a subscribe and uh, yeah, keep rocking and we'll see you next time.